Hello guys, welcome back to Outside in Michigan. Today I'm going to be at Wolf Files in Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, it's a steel dealer and I came in here today to uh, get some parts for, for my 362. So I thought I'd take a look at the saws that they have on hand here. I wasn't expecting too much uh, because of the uh, shortages it seems like out there. But I was amazed on the inventory that they have at Wolf Files. I'm with uh, Dave, David. He's a salesperson here at Wolf Files, and he agreed to talk with us a little bit about their inventory today. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around here, introduce you to David, and he's going to tell us a little about about their inventory here at the store. Dave. How are we doing today, folks? Uh, I work here at uh, Wolf Isles Hardware, and uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, an owner that's been doing this for 65 years and understands the inventory system probably better than most. Uh, we are fully stocked with all the steel products, saws, blowers, uh, 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 weed whips, uh, uh, chop saws, you name it, we have it. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we're one of the largest dealers in Michigan and uh, are, are hoping to stay that way. So if you want to come on down, if you need some steel equipment, we have it here ready to go. Uh, and of course, with any steel products, we have the service here to follow it up also. All right, guys, I'll, we appreciate David giving us a little spiel there. Now I'm just going to take you around and uh, just show you some of the inventory that they have. You're going to be amazed. Here you go, people. Just look at the amount of saws on the floor. It's just amazing. All right here you got your top handle saws, the MS-151. For $589.99. Here's another top handle. The MS-194. For 409. The MS-201. For 739. And then you got... The MS-170, 180, 211, 250, another 251. Down here you got the MS-661. For fourteen oh nine, and here is the five hundred I. They actually have this one. And they have another one on the ground. Sitting right there. So along with the uh, 500i, you got a 462 for 1219. You got a MS 400 for 949. 362 like mine for 809. And so on and so forth. You got your safety Safety gear, you got your chaps, helmets, earmuffs. Here's all your sharpening tools. Everything is very well stocked. Here's your bars and your chains. More chains. Look at all these bars down here. Everybody's 
saying how you can't find any light bars. They got stacks of them. The inventory is unbelievable. And all your oil products that you need, your 50 to 1 mix. Uh, this Check. blade happens to be for the Steel 881. It's the 47 inch bar, which we keep on stock all the time, along with the full chisel chains to go with it. Unbelievable, people. 48 inches. And they even got some play chainsaws for the kiddos. You can come down and get one of them, too. All right, guys. David has granted me access to a little bit behind the scenes here. And look at the chainsaws here from floor to ceiling. Just unbelievable amount of product on hand, ready to go. Birthday. Here we got some uh, backpack blowers. There's some of your steel electric saws. MSA 140, MSA 220 for 409, MSA 120, 299. Show you some of the string trimmers. FS 40, 169, FS 50, 209. Just an enormous amount of product. Here you got some steel axes and hatchets. Some more blowers here down on the floor. All right, guys, I want to thank David for allowing me to film inside Wolf Files there. The inventory was just outstanding. I think you all can agree. So if you uh, live around in the area and you need anything steel and you can't find it, you know where you can go to get it. Um Maybe if you're coming from a long distance away, give give David a call. Make sure they hand it, have it on hand. But uh, by the looks of it, uh, they will have it. So thank you, David, for allowing me to come in there. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up was a the, the Woodhounds podcast. Uh, there's two episodes so far. If... Uh, Nobody has heard about it yet. It's something that came out brand new. Joe over at the Ohio Woodburner and Dan at Back 40 Firewood have uh, come together to do a podcast about firewood. Uh, 
as I was outside today. I wasn't running the saw. I wasn't running the splitter. So I had uh, my phone in my pocket. I turned on the podcast, and as I was stacking wood, I was listening to the podcast. I listened to them both. Uh, I think it's a brilliant idea. And if you haven't uh, done so, so far, I'd highly recommend uh, however you get your podcast. Uh, it's the Woodhounds Podcast. Go, go over there and check them out and have a listen. So, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, folks. Uh, like I always say, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.